is the Anglon. No, I'm not talking about the A-Train in New York City. No, I'm not talking about the Anglon in LA. Today, we're talking about one of the biggest mysteries in MBTA. Why doesn't the Anglon run in their system? Before we get the answer, we first gotta figure out what exactly is MBTA's Green Line. The Green Line began in 1897 as the Tremont Street Subway, the oldest subway line in North America. The line was created to relieve congestion from Boston's then streetcar system, which ran underground under Tremont Street between Haymarket and Boylston. In 1914, the Boylston Street Subway was opened, which ran between Boylston and the current location at Kidmore Station. Eventually, most of the streetcar system was replaced by buses, and in 1967, only five streetcar lines remained in the two subway lines. The remaining lines were renamed as part of the Green Line because several of them ran near the Emerald Necklace. The lines were named alphabetically from north to south, according to the portals that they used to exit the Boston Street subway. The A was the northernmost route, and was one of the Green Line's most unique routes because it shared tracks with the Bing Line up to Packard's Corner, then ran along its own route to its terminus at Watertown. The line ran a mix of medium right away and a mixed traffic, similar to how the current day E line runs today. Unfortunately, the A line was short lived, being discontinued two years later in 1969, when it was replaced by the current day 57 bus route. The A line was discontinued because of the car shortage and because it was easier to operate buses in heavy traffic conditions. Today, the only remains of the A line is in Watertown, the terminus of the A line, and the location of the Watertown yard. Various sections of the Anglon between Watertown and Packard's Corner had its overhead wire removed and was paved over between the 1990s and the 2020s. Although it was the end of light rail operations to Watertown, there was a proposal to revive the Anglon in the system. Potentially, the replacement of Boston's elevator lines occurred in the 1970s and 1980s, with service on the Washington Street elevator discontinued in 1987. In 1985, a new branch of the Green Line was proposed which would run between downtown Boston and Dudley Square, current day Nubian Station. This new line would use the Tremont Street subway up to Boston, then use the Pleasant Street portal to relocate onto surface level, then operate on Washington Street to Dudley Square. Unfortunately, the plants did not go through, and service was eventually replaced by the Silver Line service in 2002, current day SO4 and SO5 service. Although it is unlikely that we may see another A line in the MBTA system, I hope that one day I get to see what light rail service is along Washington Street in Boston. And with that, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more transit videos.